have Kira Noor with us today. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. How did you get into this exciting industry? <laughs> I was dancing in St. Louis at the Larry Flint's Hustler Club in East St. Louis and Bonnie Rotten came through and did a feature dance routine that was amazing and it completely blew my mind and I wanted to be like her. So whenever somebody asked me if I wanted a free trip to LA in exchange for doing porn and joining their agency, I said yes and I fell in love with the porn industry. I never wanted to leave so I moved to LA and I've been here ever since. That's an interesting trade and in how long you've been in the business now? About four years. What is it you like about your job? The flexibility and the freedom. I get to be my own boss. I get to choose what days I work, who I work with, and I get to have a lot of free time um, where I feel like if I was working a normal 40 hour week, I wouldn't be able to do half the hobbies and half of the things that I like to do. So since you have more free time, what do you like to do when you're not on set? I like to paint, I like to go hiking, I like to learn how to dance. I've been taking these dance classes from somebody who used to dance with Beyonce, so I'm really excited about that. And I recently started my own podcast. Tell us about your podcast. It's called High and Horny. Um, I get two porn stars, one man and one woman, and I get them really, really high, and then I talk to them for an hour. So sometimes we talk about porn stuff, about dating and porn, favorite scenes. We'll go ahead and read our favorite porn comments out loud. But most of it, I want it to be a time to hang out with porn stars and just get high with them and talk. <laughs> so basically half-baked meets porn. Exactly. <laughs> and where can we find this interesting podcast at? You can find it on Patreon at High and Horny Podcast or on YouTube and iTunes under High and Horny Podcast. <laughs> now into sex, what turns you on? During sex, what turns me on? Connection. I feel like a lot of people assume that when you're in porn, you have to kind of distance yourself from the person and you're just acting. That person just took that. <laughs> I, uh, but I like to form better connections with people and I like to try to figure out exactly what makes them turned on. And what makes me get really happy is seeing my body and my tongue and my actions really getting somebody off. So law of attraction is very big with you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had a situation where you just didn't feel that connection you just had to fake it or just walked off the set? Uh, thankfully, with porn, we can be a lot more just blunt about what we like. Most of the time, if you're going on a date with somebody and then things start to get serious, you're kind of just going along with the flow, trying to figure out, based on intuition, what they want. But in porn, before every scene, I get to talk to my partner and say, hey, what do you like, what do you dislike, what should I do to you in particular, what should I stay away from? That way, going into it, I already know what I'm going to do. And that makes the scene better. Yep. And what is it you like to do on set? <laughs> I like a lot of clit rubbing, I like a lot of deep throating, and I like a lot of closeness. It, it, what really helps me get into another person's head is being able to have as much skin-to-skin -skin contact as possible and looking them in their eyes to make sure that they're with me in that moment too. So it's like you almost like making love to someone but at the same yeah. time intense. Mm -hmm. You like anal? Yes, <laughs> very much. You say that with a smile. Where? How do you prepare yourself so it could be comfortable for the experience? Well, you just have to get used to the sensation and then all different types of worlds of anal will be opened up to you. I feel like a lot of people get scared because they think it's going to be painful or they think it's going to end up ripping them or something like that and that's what makes them tense up and it just makes it all that more uncomfortable. If you can relax and get your body okay with it, then you'll go ahead and open up more, you can start taking bigger toys, you can start taking things that are curved and bumpy and it's this all new beautiful sensation back there. Is there anything that's off limits with you? Yes, but I'd rather not talk about it on here. And where can we find you on social media? You can find me on Twitter at The Cure Noir and if you want to watch my podcast you can find me on Patreon under my High and Horny Podcast uh, or on YouTube under High and Horny Podcast. And what is your long-term goal in this business? Do you see yourself directing or maybe grooming new women in the future? My main goal is to be happy. That's what it matters right now, just be happy. Yes. Thank you very much and much continued success. Thank you.